My name is Robert Pavlis, and I wrote this book, Plant Science for Gardeners. I've been gardening for almost 40 years, and I now have my own small botanical garden. It's about six acres in size, and we grow over 3,000 different kinds of plants. Now, over the years, I've learned a lot about gardening, but I've done that through a very painful, hard process. There's just so much information to learn, and I learned that one piece of information at a time. Now when I look back, I realize that that was not a smart way to learn how to garden. There's a much better way, and that's why I wrote this book. This book will catapult your knowledge of gardening much, much faster than I ever learned it. When new gardeners are trying to learn the hobby, they learn things by rules. Let me give you a couple examples. When do you prune a lilac? Should you pinch back fall asters? What about tulips? When can I move them? Now you can find answers to those questions, but those answers all become rules. And so you learn those rules. You prune lilacs right after they flower. You pinch back fall asters to make them bushier and give you more flower. You move tulips once the leaves go yellow. Now that sounds great, you've learned those rules, but there are thousands of different plants. Are you going to learn thousands of different rules and memorize them so that when you're out in the garden looking at a plant, you go, oh, I remember rule number 1,500? That's the hard way to learn how to garden. What I learned over the years is that if you take the time to understand the plants, learn a little bit of science and this is pretty simple science we're not talking about anything complicated here learn a little bit about how plants grow all those rules disappear in fact what you realize is that most plants grow the same way treating a hosta and a tree is not that different what i do in this book plant science for gardeners is i introduce you to that science i get you to really understand how plants grow once you know that you don't need the rule you'll be able to look at any new plant and know how to take care of it that's when you know that you become a good gardener and that's the goal of this book i want you to become a much better gardener The book starts by talking about the various parts of a plant. You might think the most important part of the plant is the flower, but from a gardener's perspective, roots is where it's at. If you can grow great roots, you can grow anything. So chapter one starts with the roots. It explains how they grow, how they absorb water, where they get the nutrients from. How does the pH of the soil affect nutrients and roots? Did you know that roots actually condition the soil around them? They do, they change the pH and they encourage the right kind of microbes to grow right next to the roots. They're kind of like a farmer who has a herd of microbes and they take care of those microbes and make sure they're fed, make sure they're protected. And those microbes help the roots in return. We move up from there. Chapter two is all about the stem. How does a stem grow? And what is its main function? Then we move on to chapter three, which is all about leaves, and chapter four, which is all about flowers. Each chapter looks at one part of the plant in detail and gives you all the scientific background you need to really understand how they grow. But a plant isn't a bunch of parts. It's actually one whole organism. So then we take those parts and we put it all together and we look at the plant as a single entity. How do all these things connect together? How does the water move from the roots to the leaves? And how does that movement of water affect photosynthesis? As you know, photosynthesis is what makes the plant food, all those sugars that plants need to grow. And then how do those sugars get back down to the roots? I mean, roots need sugars too. That is the energy source for them to grow. Each part of the plant plays a role in the whole organism being able to grow. And you'll get a full understanding of that process. Now that information applies to almost all plants. Trees, shrubs, perennials, annuals. All of those plants have more in common than the differences between them. 
But admittedly, woody plants, the trees and shrubs, they are different. And so there's a whole chapter just talking about those differences. How do they grow differently than a perennial? Remember, a perennial dies back in winter and goes underground. A tree has to remain above ground. That means they have to store food differently. And so they have different priorities. And that really affects how a gardener takes care of those plants. All right, now you know everything there is to know about plants. Let's go have some fun. So the next several chapters are about plant propagation. There's one on seeds and harvesting seeds. Another one on how to start seeds. That chapter will be a great help if you're growing a lot of vegetables. It'll make that process so much easier. Now in my garden, I grow a lot of plants that no one in town has ever seen. In fact, they're plants I've never seen. And the only way to do that is to bring them in as seeds because nobody sells those plants around here. And then we go on and talk about vegetative propagation. How do you divide plants and how do you make more plants? Did you know that you can take a small stem from your lilac and grow it into a new shrub? It's actually an easy process and you can apply that to most of the things in your garden. I've written this book to make the information very easy to understand. But learning the science is only part of it. What I then do is take that information and turn it into action. Okay, so you've learned how a leaf grows, but how does that apply to the garden? And that's an important part of this book. I show you how to apply the information you've learned to gardening tasks. I also include a number of gardening myths, so I tell you what you shouldn't be doing. There's one other really important thing that you'll get out of this book. Today we have an extraordinary amount of information on the internet, and a lot of it is floating around in social media. There are so many gardening groups, and when people have questions, they go to social media and ask a question. The problem with social media is that 80% of the information you get is wrong. And now you have a real dilemma. Which answer is right and which answer is wrong? And it's really difficult for new gardeners to figure that out. Now I can spot the wrong answers fairly easily, but remember, I've got 40 years invested in this process. Without that background, you need a better way to evaluate information. This book gives you the scientific facts that allow you to evaluate what people tell you. You'll spot the mistakes right away. You'll also be able to evaluate commercial products. If you go to a nursery or a hardware store, the shelves are lined with products. Every one of them is telling you, buy me, buy me. You need me in your garden. And you look at the bottles and there's no way to tell whether they're a good thing or a bad thing. You don't know if you should buy it and take it home. So a lot of new gardeners buy a lot of this stuff. Once you understand how plants grow, you'll know whether that product is of any use to you. In fact, one of my friends who's read all of my books tells me that the best thing my books do for her is save her money. She has stopped buying all kinds of products she really doesn't need. Now, if you're ready to kickstart your gardening career and put it into overdrive, it's time to get this book, and there'll be some links here to make it easy for you. Happy gardening.